So this section is now gonna be about Game Center. This is really important software when you're using the ROG phone. It gives you a lot of options. Now, you can open Game Center by just tapping on the big G icon on your home screen, really easy. And we get here to the main UI, and you can see right at the top, we've put all of the things that you'll want to monitor if you're gaming. So you can see your CPU usage in the top left, GPU usage in the top right. You also have memory use. You can see if you're getting close to the maximum. Maybe you need to close a few apps. More on that later. And you can see the storage used over here on the bottom right. Now, you'll also see right below is X mode. Now, X mode will go through several optimizations if you're wanting to play games. It will set your system properly for gaming. So, I mentioned just a few moments ago if you have too much memory used. Well, actually, X mode will help you out by automatically closing background apps that are maybe using some of that RAM. So let's go ahead and tap X mode, and now it's been turned on, it's activated. You can see the lighting's a bit different. Now you can also, if you wanna get into X mode from the home screen, you can just swipe down and get into X mode here. And a third way is just by squeezing the device. You can see this live wallpaper also reacts when X mode is on or off, but I can just give the phone a squeeze and turn that on or turn that off. Really easy. Now, another thing we can do scrolling down here is change the aura lighting. And this is the lighting on the back of the device. You can see it here, looks really cool. You can actually customize that inside Game Center. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. So we can go ahead and change from color cycle to, let's try static. And now I can actually go ahead and move the bar here and select exactly the shade and hue of the color that I want to display on the back of my device. You can see I've got my green ROG logo now. Or we can select a different pattern, like maybe we want strobing. Okay, and I can set that to a nice dark blue. And we can see that on the back of the device. Another cool feature inside of Game Center and inside of the Aura Lighting section is that we can actually sync multiple phones. So we'll go ahead and click on this called Lighting Synchronization. We'll go ahead and turn it on. Now this is gonna be my host phone, so I'm gonna hit Create. And I've basically started my own little network, my own group uh, for lighting synchronization. So there's two ways the other phones can join my lighting group. So I'll show you that now. On each of these phones, we will open up the Game Center and we'll start with this phone. We'll turn on lighting synchronization and now we're gonna hit join. We wanna join. And you can see my phone, my host phone is listed right here. I can just tap on the join button and it's already synced up. Really, really easy. Now, another way we can do it, we'll try this on the left phone here, is when we go to join, we actually have this little icon in the top right and we can tap that and that will open up our camera and we can actually scan the QR code on the host phone. So let's test that out really quickly. Catch that QR code like so. And we are all connected. Now if I flip the phones over, we can see that we are all three in sync. The light synchronization feature is especially awesome for eSport teams. So imagine you're in a 4v4 or a 5v5. If your team is rocking ROG phones, you'll all have your team colors displayed in sync on all of your devices, which is definitely gonna intimidate the opponents and look awesome to boot. Now, you can also see here that this is also functioning with the Aero Active Cooler. So no matter what accessories you're using, as long as you all have ROG phones, you can sync up the lighting between all of those devices. Another feature you'll find inside of Game Center is the Game Profile section you can see here. So let's go ahead and tap on that. And all of the games that you have installed on the device will show up here. And you can actually go into each game by tapping on the profile. And you can see that we've got all these advanced options that you can customize. So you can choose what happens when you launch X mode. 
You can choose whether or not the system will clean the memory out when you launch that game. If you realize that you hit the maximum amount of RAM used while you're playing a specific game, you can just turn that on, taken care of. You can also select what frequency the CPU is going to run at. So for less demanding games, you might want to save some power and then you could select a 2.09 gigahertz, for example. Or if you want maximum performance, you can of course keep it on 2.96. You could also select the refresh rate. So if you know your game doesn't support 90 hertz, you could go ahead and select 60 hertz if you really wanted to. Personally, I would keep it on 90 hertz all the time for the smoothest experience. You can also turn on anti-aliasing. You can flip that on or off and you can block alerts. You can tell your phone to be quiet and let me game if you want. So having these options available for each one of the games installed on the system gives you a ton of flexibility and customization, which is definitely what the ROG phone is all about. So from monitoring, to the game profiles, to synchronizing up to five ROG phones, having them all with the same lighting to represent your team. The Game Center offers a ton of functionality at the press of a button. And this is really what makes the ROG phone special. It's the way we've combined the hardware and the software. Everything's working together as an ecosystem. So if that's something you're looking for, if you really want the next level of gaming experience, you are only gonna find it here on the ROG phone.